What's up collectors, P Rockzilla back again with another review. And I'm starting to the point where my pile of new figures is starting to get really condensed. So instead of going through them individually, I'm just grabbing whatever's in front, just so it'll be easier for me to grab these things as I wanna get all my new figures reviewed. So this is what's next. And this is gonna be the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon version of Bebop and Rocksteady. This is the dynamic duo that any Ninja Turtle fan would know and love. You know the bad guys, you still gotta love Bebop and Rocksteady. You know, when you see them in any movie or cartoon, you get excited, like, oh yeah, Bebop and Rocksteady. So I missed on these guys when they first came out. This is when that whole thing happened with NECA where they switched over to having their figures come out exclusively to Target and Walmart. And at that point, it was just a nightmare trying to find these figures. So I kind of gave up on the whole chase. So I missed out on them and I kind of regretted that from there on out. I do tend lately to go just to swing by Target when I pick up things on myself. Just to kind of take a look at what they have. But thankfully, I was able to grab these guys at New York Comic Con this past year. The guy gave me an excellent deal because I guess a lot of people came back to him asking for the package but never actually returned with the cash. So since I did... He was very generous with that, and he gave me an even better deal on these guys. So I had to grab these to add them to my collection. So anyways, let's get this review started. Dale. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the box before we get the figures outside the box. And on the front here, you get this cool picture of how they looked in the cartoon this is how i remember them as a kid as a turtle fan i always i start off with the comic books with the graphic novels that's why I, how i originally liked the turtles because they were a little bit more mature a little more hardcore compared to the cartoon but the cartoon was close enough but these guys when i first saw them in the cartoon i was super happy that they showed them you get the classic teenage mutant turtles logo on the top then right here you get a nice picture of rocksteady under here you get the legal stuff over here you get a picture of bebop in the back. Now, one thing that kind of annoyed me about these NECA figures is I kind of wish, I think I said this before in another review, but I kind of wish the story here was on the actual characters, not about the turtles. We all know about the turtles, so. Anyway, so there's a good picture of the dynamic duel together. All right, so let's go ahead and you can see the figures right there. So the, let's go ahead and get these guys out the box. Now, once you get Bebop Rocksteady out the package, you are treated with a little backdrop at the back end of the box, which is pretty cool. This would be pretty cool to actually add in the background of your detail for your show to kind of cover the back end of your display. But let's move to the box to the side. And let's look at the guys right here. So here you get Bebop and Rocksteady. Let's just take this off right here so you can get an idea of what comes in the package. So you get the two figures, the little com right there. They both get the same type of assault rifle and hand handgun. I'm about to say hand cannon. So that's the first layer. And then under here... All you really get is just swappable hands. You get four each. So let's go ahead and get these guys out and all the accessories displayed so we can take a closer look. Here we have Bebop and Rocks that he's laid out with all their accessories. Now, one thing I did notice right away is if you look at the hands, you can see that the hands are the same exact mold. That they're just painted differently, as you can see here. Same exact mold. So basically, they have the same hands. Even look at that, even the same scratches right there. So kind of a cheap way to do it, but I guess they can get away with it with Bebop Rocksteady. I would think Rocksteady would have bigger hands than Bebop, but I guess I'm wrong in cartoon form. All right, so as always, let's take a look at the figures first. Let's get my favorite one first. Let's get Rocksteady. Look at him. Now, I love, now when I first saw the NECA cartoon version of these figures, I wasn't a big fan of the black, sloppy looking panel line or you want color details but as these figures start coming out more and more i started to kind of get used to it and uh, this is one through a neck of figures man you got to be careful with these joints like already i can feel this joint is super tight so i'm probably going to heat that up just to bend that joint but like i said we'll do articulation i just want to look at the character first so we can see rocksteady does look just like the cartoon got the little beer belly sticking out a little beep eye showing and he has a little turtle shell back here. The knife is stuck on there, so you don't want to take that off. That's attached to the belt. Unless you want to break it. And, of course, Rocksteady no tiene culo. And you have the legs. And the bottom right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to do some articulation. 
as I can tell already, I did some of these joints are tight. And if you're a NECA collector, you know that's an issue with NECA figures. You got to reheat the joints to kind of get them loose. So I'll push the joints that I could push. So let's go ahead with the articulation so his arms can go about that high. I think this is as far as he can go. So no T-pose for rock steady. The elbow joints are super tight. So I'm going to have to, as you can see there, just looks like just paint stuck in there. So I'm definitely going to have to heat these up. So I can't really bend the elbows at this point. Same thing with this elbow. The hands do twist, but just like you do get a full, you get double jointed elbows there, as you can see by the two joints. So I got to get that warmed up. He does twist at the waist a little bit. I got to be careful with this. I don't want to break this back since I'm doing articulation. And also be careful with this piece right here because it does detach. Or it doesn't detach, it's like just hanging there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the waist. Waist does articulate. His legs are limited, as obvious, but this is a, this portion right here is a softer plastic, so you're not hindered too much. And then, you know, Bebom Rache don't really do many dynamic poses or anything dynamically. So you do get bend there. And you know, even the knees are tight. Woo! I don't want to break these things. There we go. So we get some bend in the knees here. I'm going to heat up that top joint right there to kind of get more bending there. But these boys came out stiff as a rock. Man, woo. Look at this one. This joint. Look, I'm trying to bend that. These are hard to find now, so I don't want to break these. So that could bend more. Now you can hear that when I click it back in. That's weird. Anyways. So there we go. The legs don't seem like they articulate well. Maybe I got to heat that up too. Yeah, yeah, they do. So they do up here. On this one, they do twist. So I'm just going to heat this up. To this whole, I think I'm going to just dip this whole thing in some warm water. Just to loosen everything up. So there's Rocksteady. Stiff Rocksteady. Let's go look at Bebop. Let's take a look at Bebop. It looks kind of familiar there. Hmm. So you got the hair. With the ponytail. The glasses, the glasses are stuck on there. You cannot, oh, they feel like they're loose, but I think if you take them off, you might break them off. So I don't think you could take them off. You have the chain. I mean, the necklace here, you got the chain around his waist, which is actually plastic chain. Same thing with the chain around his wrist, plastic chain. And he looks identical to the cartoon also. Let's look at his back. You got the vest detail back there. The shell shoulder pads. There's everything right there. So let's see his articulation. So he moves a little bit smoother so far from Rocksteady. Yeah, see, so he, he feels smoother already. So let's move his. And then as you move this, you will see, I just noticed that for the first time, the shoulder pads are attached in the shoulder part. And this part is actually loose. When you move that, you can actually see that move also. Oh, I talked too soon because his elbows are tight too. Man. NECA. Yep, so those elbows are tight also, so I'm going to heat these up also. You could get articulation at the wrist. The hands do. Oh, you got to be careful too. So when you're moving this up, you got to be careful with that plastic rubber piece there. As you can see, it does put tension right there. So it's something you want to be careful about if you try to articulate. You do get some twist at the, at the bicep, but I got to warm that up also. So let's see something. Let's see. So they do go pretty back. His arms go pretty back far. You could get them further up. Like I said, just be careful with that plastic piece. You don't want to rip that shoulder pad strap. He does get waist articulation. Not much ab crunch. Just a little bit forward and a little bit back. Not sure that's meant like that or it's supposed to heat up some more. He has the same rubber piece as Rocksteady. So you could articulate the legs a little bit more higher. But same thing as Rocksteady, Bebop is not really a dynamic poser. They're more like, you know, strong knucklehead type guys. Alright, so you do get shin articulation. So it is twisting at the shin, not the ankle. Same thing here. And with him, you do get a little bit of pivot at the feet. So maybe when I loosen the joints for Rocksteady, he does the same thing. And the mouth is soft. I thought it was articulate. You can articulate. You can move it and adjust it a little bit, but it will go back. But you can open it more, so that's pretty cool. 
And that's a good, cool feature. So you can actually kind of have him with his mouth closed or with the mouth open. Cool feature. Wonder if, let me see if Rocksteady has that feature too. Oh yeah, he does, so you can do it too. You can keep the mouth open more or close it. All right, so let's take a look at the accessories. They both have the same type of pistols and guns. As you can see, our detail on these, these are painted pretty good. Hard plastic. So you don't think, I don't think it's worth about dropping these and breaking them. You get the painted scope. And then let's look at the handguns. Same thing with the other one, so there's no need to show both. Same thing, painted pretty good. Hard plastic, so no worries about breaking this if you drop it. And I already showed you the hands. And let's look at the last piece, and this is the comm they have. And what's cool about this is they actually have shredder on there. You can see that they're calling shredder. Shredder is the only one I'm shredder and Krang as of right now are the only ones I'm missing that I really want to get from the cartoon version of Turtles, the NECA cartoons. So I'm still on the hunt for Shredder. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get some size comparisons started. Okay, so I haven't worn up the joints yet, so I've got them basically in the default pose. So let's go ahead and bring in some other figures for a size comparison. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the their other variation from the Super 7 company, which is basically a remake of the Turtles, just in a, a little bit bigger, a little bit more of their version. So let's go ahead and bring in the Super 7 version of Rocksteady. As you can see, the Super 7s are a little bit bigger. And then let's go ahead and bring in the Super 7 version of Bebop. Now these, the Super 7 ones, are more based towards the actual uh, original toys that came out. Not the cartoon, so that's why they look different from the actual cartoon versions. You can see some color palettes are different. But let's go ahead and bring in one more figure to kind of match it up with the NECA cartoon line. And let's go ahead and bring in the cartoon Leonardo. As you can see, the cartoon Leonardo, let me bring him a little bit closer. Let's go ahead and bring, adjust this a little bit more, get these guys squeezed in here. And there we go. So the cartoon Leonardo is a little bit smaller, which he's supposed to be. The turtles are normally smaller than we bought Rocksteady. So that fits perfect for the cartoon one. So as you can see there, there they are with the cartoon version. So they have they matched perfectly with the cartoon. Maybe they should have been a little bit taller on the cart than the turtles. But the Super 7 ones are more accurate to the toys and they are a little bit bigger. And those match more accurate to the turtles from that line. All right, so let's go ahead and get the final poses and final thoughts. Okay, so using the hot water method, I was able to loosen the joints and that worked perfectly. And not only that, I was able to loosen Rockstate's head because I noticed too that his, his neck joint wasn't was stuck to the left only. So by warming it up with warming up hot water and then dipping into each joint or each part for about 10, 15 seconds, pulling out the water, dry it up, and then slowly, because it does make the joints very soft, slowly start bending the joints back and forth. You may have to hold on to one piece as you kind of bend the other piece, especially on the elbow joints. I learned I had to do that, basically hold the bicep first. And then move the elbow joints first and then start flexing the joint a lot below the bicep. Seems to work out perfect for me. The joints are all fine now. So they're basically poseable again now. So as I want to have here a quick pose of basically Bebop and Rocksteady contacting Shredder saying that they're lost. And of course, you know, this happens a lot in the cartoons and the movies where Shredder's kind of yelling at them saying you imbeciles and stuff like that kind of point them in the right direction but then they're still kind of confused as you can see their rock is kind of pointing over there saying hey we're supposed to go that way and the b-bus like oh so you get the arms up so i like these figures you know there are a little maintenance you have to do before you try to display them and and pose them as i was taking off joints and as i was warming up the joints a lot of paint was coming off so that's what was causing all those joints to get stiff so the figures are Pretty good. I, I like them. You know, once I was able to basically loosen the joints up and get the full articulation, as you can see, too, rock steady, I was able to get his mouth open more when I loosened up the joints on the head. So I'm happy with this pickup. I'm a little mad I, I didn't get them when they first released. I did to pay a little bit more than the retail price, but as a turtle fan, I had to get Beep on Rock Steady. When I come when it comes to any line that creates any kind of turtles, I usually tend to try to buy obviously the four turtles first. Splinter, if they have Splinter. April, sometimes KCO, it depends how he comes out. 
And villain wise, I always have to get Shredder, at least one or two foot soldiers, and Bebop Rocksteady. And this picture, this pose right here, I wanted to kind of throw in another villain there. We got Baxter Stockman. So we got the three, the three, the three enemies right here attacking the turtles. As you can see, they finally got a hold of Michelangelo. Baxter got him with his little ray gun, turned him to a hamster. Baxter chain trying to turn the knob on his gun to turn the other turtles to different animals. And of course, you got Bebop and Rocksteady covering his flank right there behind him as he's adjusting the knobs. They're covering him by shooting fire at the turtles and any other enemies in their way to get their mission accomplished. That way Shredder can stop yelling at them. So these figures are definitely a buy for me to complete my turtle line of the cartoon version. If it's a complete a must for you, that's up to you. Like I said, I know most collectors, the must are definitely the four turtles. But to me, I always have to get villains to go with my heroes. And B-Bound Rocks, they always fit perfectly with the turtles no matter how they look what kind of variation you have from from them everybody knows bebop rocksteady everybody loves bebop right well not everybody most people love bebop rocksteady even though they're villains people love them because they're iconic villains in an iconic cartoon so i'm happy with my purchase i was happy i was able to get these guys at comic-con because i missed them out no more am i missing out on these turtles I, i'm finally getting my like i said for the cartoon ones i just need shredder and krang and for me, I'll be happy with the cartoon ones, at least for the main turtles and main characters from the line. So as always, people, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, please click the, click the like, subscribe button, and click that bell notification so you get notified of upcoming reviews and content coming from my channel. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you enjoying my passion along with me. I love sharing my passion with every collectors and people who are willing to watch my videos. As always, Keep collecting, stay safe, be good, darling.